You are welcome to another video of the course F5 Big IP LTM. As you know, there are three methods to manage big IP products. GUI, which is the main method to configure and monitor big IP products during the course. CLI-based environment or TMOS shell environment, which is the focus of this lesson. And also we will discuss during the course. And REST API, which is a way to manage and monitor big IP products programmatically. GUI, CLI, and REST API are three main methods to configure and monitor F5, Big IP, and many other networking products. GUI is the most common method and the method we will focus on during the course to configure and monitor Big IP LTM module. This section is dedicated to the CLI or TMOS shell environment. REST API is a method used to programmatically configure and monitor big IP products. When you connect to the big IP via SSH protocol, you are in a Linux CentOS bash shell environment and most bash shell commands work here. Some examples of bash command are ls to list files and directories, pw to show the current working directory, if config to list interfaces including MAC address and the IP address, for example, 192.168.2.186, the IP address which I am connected to, netstat-nr to view the routing table, the default gateway is pointing to 2.1 and 1.1 one, one for the management, VRF, and top command to check the live processes and their memory and CPU usage and many other bash commands like ping, trace route and many other commands. There are a few files in the Linux bash shell that may be helpful to know. The first is the ltm log file which is located in var log and then ltm you can check the log file in the real time at any time using tail-f command you can see the content of the file with var log and ltm at the moment there are no content inside the file the second group of files are the configuration files, file bigip.conf inside the config folder, bigip.conf, and it is used to store the LTM configuration files such as virtual servers, profiles, access policies, I rules, and authentication settings. The other configuration file is bigip underline base.conf which is located in the same folder and is used to store basic level network and system configurations such as VLAN, self IP, device service clustering and provisioning. It is also good to know that the file slash config big IP dot license is the license file and it is recommended not to edit this file this is the article number and the name of overview of big IP configuration files which can be useful to see a more complete list of configuration files which is also included the files that are pointed to to configure big IP, we need to enter the TMOS shell environment, which is done with TMSH command. Let's check together. TMSH. Now we are inside of traffic management operating system shell environment. In the TMOS shell environment, if you type a question mark, you see the name of the modules and the list of the commands the list of modules are the same as what you see in the categories 
on the left side of the GUI environment. For example, Sys or System, Net or Network, LTM or LTM configuration, which is which you can also see in the GUI environment. The same module also exists in the GUI environment, network, system, and LTM or local traffic management modules. Below the module names, you can see also the list of the commands. The commands show, list, create, and delete are the most important commands. Create to create new configuration, delete to remove the configuration, and then list and show. List, it is to view the configuration like show running configuration but show which can be at the end of this command is to view runtime information like statistics and status and also modify can be also a, an important command which is used to modify the configuration in m in modify update the existing configuration these commands are the most important commands that you can use in each module or sub module or components some other commands are exit for example if we go to the ltm module with the exit command we can go one step back or in the system module in the root module and the system module again with the exit we can go back and exit again you see that to end the Timos shell environment, we have to use the quit command instead of exit command. And finally, save command. The command save in the system module and then config of the most important command to save the configuration. You see the configurations are stored in the bigip.conf which the configuration of LTM module, big IP base, the basic configuration like network interface and VLAN configuration, authentication information in bigip.user.conf file. To see some examples, let's focus on the system and network modules that we configured in the previous section. During the course, we will see the commands also related to the LTM module. To configure or view the configuration of the management interface, we call the system module, list system module, and then use the management IP command. As you know, list is to view the configuration. And you see that the management IP address is 1.186 and to see the default gateway of the management IP we check with the list system management root command and the gateway is 1.1 also with the same command with the same management IP command but using create instead of list we are allowed to create the management IP address and management default gateway with the command create in the system module management IP and management root default gateway if we enter the command it is already exist you will receive the message the requested management IP already exist let's see some other examples from network module which is very handy and applicable with the ARP command show net and ARP command in the net module you can check the ARP table you see three IP address and the equivalent MAC address with the interface command instead of ARP we can check the status of the interfaces 1, 1, 1, 2 and 1, 3 uh, and management 13 is used for the high availability which is uh, still not 
comfortable but one one and one two and management are already comfortable and the status is up and you can see also the statistic or the traffic statistics incoming and outgoing of the interfaces and the command show net route in the network module and route command show to see the statistics we can check the routing table and configuration if we check the configuration of the routing table we can check it with the list command we have added just one route a static route for the default gateway and this is 2.1 for the data interfaces and this is the default 2.1 it must also exist here but, but the other routes are directly connected routes as you can see at the end of each row and in the last example we can use list with self and also vlan commands to check the configuration of interfaces or the ip of the interfaces and also vlans assigned to the interfaces with the self instead of road we use the self command to 186 and 10 1 which is assigned to the external and internal interfaces with the vlan command instead of self we can see that external is the interface 1 2 and internal is the interface 1 1 and the tags or untagged vlan which is assigned to the interfaces we have seen some examples of the system and network module but in the next sections where we configure the LTM module we will also review the equivalent CLI configuration